In this video, we are going to talk about what happens when you have Jupiter into the sign of Aries. So keep watching. Namaste and welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. I'm your host Prasad Mahazani. Help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of Vedic Astrology. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. Jupiter in Aries. Before we talk about this combination, what is Jupiter? Jupiter is the most benefic planet of all. It is, it shows the positivity in life and all that is joyous and good in life. In the celestial cabinet, Jupiter is a counselor. Sun is the king, moon is queen and Mercury is intellect and a messenger and a prince. And Jupiter is a counselor. Jupiter counsels the king's son. And what kind of counseling Jupiter does? He does the counseling with regards to dharma. What is right? What is true? What is the righteous path for the king? Jupiter counsels the king on the path of dharma, joy, happiness and true knowledge beyond this worldly life and that's what makes king a king the king okay so yes this is jupiter jupiter is also about the wisdom abundance about the virtues good qualities about the gains surplus expansion gurus that is the literal teachers in your life Jupiter is also the karaka of children in your chart. Jupiter is also the karaka for the wealth. So all in all, Jupiter is the most benefic planet who is all about abundance, wealth, children, guru, gains, money, friends, everything which is good and abundant in life and positive in life. What is the sign of Aries? Aries is one of the sign which is the sign of independence, individuality. Aries is ruled by Mars. By the way, Mars is a friend of Jupiter. So Jupiter in the sign of Aries feels at home, feels at friend's home. So he feels good about it. So he likes to be into the signs of Mars and especially into the sign of Aries because he has the element of fire. We'll talk about the element fire later. But Aries is ruled by Mars. Mars is the fierce vital force of the planet. Mars is all about the strength, masculinity and independence and disciplined, dedicated actions. Mars is also the significator for the siblings and all these competition, aggression, blood, strength, stamina, vitality and all these is coming into the sign of Aries because Aries is the first sign. Okay, so Aries is having all the qualities of Mars. Aries is the sign which is the fire element sign. What is the fire element sign? Fire element signs are all about the intuition and all about the creation we always relate the intuition part to the pisces and water element but fire element signs are equally intuitive because these are the signs which can think about it because if you look at the sign of aries and the body parts related to the aries it has head, brain and all the important organs which are required for the functioning of the human body. Thoughts are generated into this area. All the body parts are controlled from this area. So all in all this is the beginning of the things. It is the first thought of creation. Okay. You, whatever you look around yourself are the thoughts of people who have manifested. 
Aries sign is also the sign which is movable. The sign 1, 4, 7, 10 are the movable signs. Movable signs have the capacity to bring in the movement. So the Aries sign bring in the movement with the new thought, with the new idea. Fourth Cancer sign will bring in the movement with the new feeling. The Libra sign will bring in the movement with the new opportunity. And the Capricorn sign will bring in the new movement with respect to the new responsibility, the work area and career and all the material achievements. We are talking about Aries. Aries is all about the new thoughts, new ideas, new beginnings, independence, freedom. Aries, though represent the new thoughts, is not always thoughtful and at times on a lower plane it might work into the rashness it might turn into rashness you have to guard against that okay Aries is the cardinal sign and the important signification of the Aries sign is focus and thoughts intuition focus and thought are the core signification of Aries you can you can relate the sign of Aries with any beginnings just apply those significations to the sign of Aries what happens with the new with the new beginning it's the initiation it's the energy it's that martial force which brings in the things into reality which which manifest things which manifest thoughts into reality and that's what Aries does. And now Jupiter has the environment of this fiery Aries sign. The planet of positivity comes into the sign of the self and independence. When Jupiter comes into the sign of Aries, it makes person positive. These people are positive in their approach towards life or anything they approach to. Because the abundance and the positivity is coming into the self. Aries is resonates with the first house as well. So it's the self. Now this positivity is coming into the self. So these people are optimistic and with a positive attitude. The planet of wisdom comes into the sign of self. These people are wise and have those and use this wisdom to create new things. They, they don't just, you know, read the books and stop. They apply this knowledge into this real world to create something which will benefit others. The planet of the virtues and values goes into the sign of the independence and freedom these people have a unique approach towards the values they have a fresh outlook towards looking at things they are not orthodox and on a lower plane these people might push their values and ideologies to other peoples to other people they have to guard against them that they yeah, they have to follow their values and ideologies but they don't have to push them on to other people jupiter is the planet which is all about the wisdom and is about the good virtues and jupiter is capable of deciding what is right and what is wrong the planet of the wisdom and the righteousness comes into the sign of Aries into the sign of self so these people have a confidence and conviction about what they believe in and what they are capable of but on a lower plane again other people might find these people to be 
because the expansive behavior of Jupiter is now coming into the self. So other people might may not like it because it's always about me and not others. They have to think about others as well. So yes, this was Jupiter into the sign of Aries as much as I could hold grasp and share with you guys. What to watch next? If you are new to Vedic Astrology, go to my YouTube channel, go to the playlist page and start your journey with Rahu Ketu through houses series. Go through the planets through houses series or retrograde planet series or how to get started into Vedic Astrology playlist. Or just go to any of the videos and start exploring the fascinating world of Vedic Astrology. Sending you tons of positive energy, sending you high vibrations. If you have any question, add me on Instagram at Pramanic Astrology. And if you have any question, you can also put them into the comment section of the relative YouTube videos. I read all the comments and I try to reply to almost all the comments. Sending you tons of positive energy, sending you high vibes. See you in the next videos. Love and peace. And also make sure you subscribe to this channel because there are many more videos to come on Vedic Astrology. So if you like this video, do subscribe and share this video with your friends and family.